Oh, there was one. Oh, yeah. Have y'all ever hit a person? Like with your car? No. No, not a person. Have you hit somebody? On a on a bike. Oh my God. <laughs> like, a, like a motorcycle or no, a, like a, a bicycle. Like a bicycle. <laughs> okay. what, you swerved into them, or they got no, in front of you? No, it was they got in front of me. I was just driving. Were you wow. a child? Was I a child? Yeah. No, they were a child. Oh. <laughs> so he's he like a- in his little bike lane, and then he was texting and biking, which I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah. And then he just kind of you're driving, here. <laughs> right? And then he biked into my lane, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I tried to brake, but I didn't brake in time. So, he so into I you. hit his bike, and he went flying. So I ran over his bike, but technically, I didn't okay. hit him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was but away. He was crushed. His legs <laughs> under No, bike. no. He's he was chair, like a couple feet fault. away. And I was like, hey, man, like, what the fuck? So you ran over his three wheel and his mom <laughs> come over. You were still pissed off at him? Yeah, dude, he should have stayed in his lane. Uh, <laughs> damn, that's some willful ignorance for your ass. <laughs> uh, willful ignorance. A decision in bad faith to avoid becoming informed about something so as to avoid having to make undesirable decisions that such information might prompt. Now your host, George and Kabaza. Oh, I guess that is a taxi driver. I just, it felt like a good deal. It sounded like a good deal. I was like, you get a car? They they trick you into using your own car and they make it look cool. You know, like... It's yeah. not. You're Why a would it make it look cool? Right? Yeah. No, That's just because like, hey, you want to earn some extra money and take a lot of hey, shit from Hey, you're down people. on your luck? <laughs> you want to go lease a brand new car and put a shitload of miles on it and make six bucks an hour? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and then That's have people awesome. puking your shit? Cody's a Uber driver up there. In oh, he, oh. Tell, he tells jokes. To, oh, he does. Oh, yes, he does. He's yes, not yes, good he does. <laughs> I got the guy who made this shirt. Shout out to uh, Southern Delicacy who made this shirt. It's a dope ass shirt. Anyway. Sponsor. Yeah, and <laughs> and so they uh, so they just got some Spurs shirts. They're dope as fuck. They're gonna send us some. Yeah, and so <laughs> right. why um, not? He he goes. Hey, he called me. He's like, hey, do you know a Cody? Oh, I feel bad because Cody's never oh, here. What? Oh. Do you know a Cody Odell? And I was like, yeah. Why? He's just like, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we were talking. I was like, how did you meet him? He's like, he was my Uber driver. And awesome. I was like, how did I come up? And he was just like, no, we we're just talking. And then. Uh, he said he does comedy. I was like, time out. How far into the ride Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> did he tell you that he oh does stand up? How far into the ride? And he was just like, oh, what? well, he didn't tell me he does. He, oh, yeah, like two minutes. Like, oh, like, God. Two like minutes. he just got in the car. And then I go, we got to make fun of did him. Did he for tell this. you <laughs> he does stand up or did he do a bit? And he was just like, well, I Ugh. asked him, oh, you do stand up. Tell me a bit. Gross. And it was a pretty funny bit. And I was just was like, Was it the sperm? Uh, I don't know what bit oh. he did. Well, but, at least it was funny. Yeah. But he could have said anything and he would be like, Dance monkey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he would drive me in my and he's, like, and he's like, You know Josh Kabaza? How crazy. And that made me think. Cody uses Uber as an open mic in Austin. Well, I mean, oh, fuck it. If you're yeah. going to do it, you know, you might as well harass people. Too. There you go. So we use it as an open mic it. as well if you decide oh, cool. to do Uber. But yeah, bring I'm a still... guitar as a music open mic. <laughs> yeah. There's people who purchase like high-end vehicles because you're supposed to get more money if you get the whatever. Not the, the X. X. So Is it fucking... XL? It's the X. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's a higher price. But they, crazy. They end up usually picking up normal rides because there's not enough of those rides. Yeah. Because who in San Antonio is like, if you're going to do that, it's like, well, I'll get a limo. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Austin has a lot of festivals. Yeah. Has a lot of, has a lot of shit going every fucking weekend, something. Well, you there's know. traveling Uber drivers. So what? like, yeah, yeah. Like I know Uber drivers in Corpus who drive up to Austin during festivals yeah. or oh, Houston shit. or Dallas for festivals they because just, they'll totally. make a bunch of money. Yeah. Yeah. Do they just stay in their car? Yeah, right. they just stay in their car for like 14 hours and they're just constantly it's driving people crazy. around. That's crazy. Usually, that one, because an Uber driver, because I've looked this up, an Uber driver in New York can actually make about $30 an hour, right? Oh, shit. That's so, not a lot, though. That's not a lot. That's like 80% scoring towards your car. Oil changes, well, tires. Yeah. it it uh, Right. But the difference is it's, it's shorter trips in New okay. yeah. York. Oh, that's you know true. what I mean? But you are doing a lot more <laughs> stopping and going. Stopping which and going. Your brakes. Bad for your break that's why you have to get a toyota i believe you have to get a high-end vehicle none of this domestic shit because it's gonna just, break down if you're a taxi driver be a taxi driver you know but don't think you're better than me because oh yeah i work for uber too like yeah are you broke dude <laughs> fucking yeah get, no, a, a, like, get a regular job that can pay you, all your bills you sell cars right uh ish i i'm ish. not a sales just person parts. <laughs> i work as like a sales assistant i assist the sales people why, they, why can't what they mean? assist you 
in <laughs> purchasing a vehicle. Because right. that's what they do. When you work at a car dealership, they want within you to the help first you. month, yeah. they want you to buy a vehicle. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh, well, it pushes their... Uh, your credit so sucks. Okay. Well, no, and people quit <laughs> yes, too. but also I have a car. It's it's not running, and it's about. So you don't uh, have a car. It's a couple paychecks from being fixed. So yeah. I'm like, I'll just fix the car I have. Can't it's you a trade 2019. It in? Yeah. So why not? Hmm. It's a 2019. Mm-hmm. And it's and broken. It, you don't have a warranty on it. Uh, I do, but it's I hit something, so oh. <laughs> you get, oh. the warranty is not good. It's not like a man. You don't have insurance on a brand new car? Not at the time. <laughs> no. What happened? You have for a lawyer or something? Or? You don't know how to lie? No, I had, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had uh, liability, and it it didn't oh. cover. Hold on, it, you so can't have liability still... on a brand new car, dude. There's no way. Yeah, I thought they made you get full what, coverage. What's the real story? When you, well, yeah, when you I drive did, it off the yeah. lot, when you drive you, it off the lot, you have you to have full, full coverage, coverage, and then you take it off and get uh, liability. Yeah. That's no, very cheap no, no, of no, you. no, because the finance company won't allow that. Yes, it will after they, the first thirty will, days. They only are you fucking serious? They only That's check it the first month. They only yeah. check it the first they don't month. They buy a car. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now it's only like a couple hundred dollars from me. So now that you're a felon, yeah, you just admit it. Yeah. Oh no. What did you hit? A thing. Is it a person? <laughs> not, not on the street. Uh, Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's our water. That's so kind. Come on in. Say hi. Oh, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> busy. So you we're here, water, we're here at Laugh Out Loud. There's plenty of water. Oh, there was water. Oh, yeah. Have y'all ever hit a person? Like with your car? No. Oh. No, not a person. Have you hit somebody? On a, on a bike? Oh my God. <laughs> like, a, like a motorcycle or no, a, like a, a bicycle. Like a bicycle. <laughs> okay. what, you swerved into them, or they got no, in front of you? No, it was they got in front of me. I was just driving. Were you wow. a child? Was I a child? Yeah. No, they were a child. Oh. <laughs> so he's he like a- in his little bike lane, and then he was texting and biking, which I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah. And then he just kind of you're driving, yeah. <laughs> right? And then he biked into my lane, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I tried to brake, but I didn't brake in time. So, so I hit his bike and he went flying so I ran over his bike but technically I okay. didn't hit him yeah, yeah. Oh, he was but away he was crushed his legs <laughs> under <laughs> no <that>. no <laughs> he was chair, like a couple feet fault. away and I was like hey man like what the fuck so you ran over his three wheel and his mom come over <laughs> you were still pissed off at him yeah dude you should have stayed in his lane <laughs> uh, okay. that's what it's there for is that right? what you told him <laughs> that's, that's what it is what like I told him <laughs> bleeding out of his stay in your lane yeah I was like you get? you're supposed to stay in your lane dude and then he was like that goes oh, with everything I wasn't even paying in attention. life right? <laughs> stay in your lane <laughs> right and so I was like dude I'm sorry but like I gotta go so then yeah. I like moved his bike to the side. Uh, and, and you were like riding like a what a huffy, like a big bike. I was Did you I put don't... leaves over this guy at least <laughs> to hide no. the body? He like got up and stuff and I was like, hey kid, like I gotta go. I'm sorry, when you but say like kid. I want adult. I'm thinking like like teenagers. Like 13. Oh, okay. 13. Okay. 13, 14. So you guys are the same size. Damn. Yeah. You need a <laughs> we were the kid, same size. Yeah. I didn't Christ. hit him. I hit his bike. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, I got to go. And he's like, oh, my bike. I was like, well, you can still push it. So yeah. I'm going to go. And then I left. What was so and important was like, that you had to leave a, a kid that, that was like disabled? <laughs> An open mic. I was no. going to the park and I just didn't. I was, you didn't went, give a fuck about human life. It's no, just I just, I went to a different park because the park was right across the street and like everyone witnessed it and oh I didn't want to go dude. there. And so I called my drug dealer. I was like, wait. hey man, can you that's what I, knew. <laughs> I knew that's what it was. <laughs> so you couldn't like, call the cops? No, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't. Technically, I didn't have the drugs on me, so I could have, but yeah. he this was fine. Happened. It's not your limitations. This, this happened all, a long time ago, Yeah, right? it was like when I was like 18. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. It was like so. 10 years ago. You can't. He's fine. You okay. sure? No. Yeah. He's not fine. He broke his bike, though. His mom got mad He's at him. He's not riding his yeah. bike anymore. And nobody believed him. It was this. <laughs> He's 23 years old. He's <laughs> this Asian girl about my size. <laughs> what? She hit me on the bike. Okay, you're being racist now. <laughs> All right, no, you're just be- fucking Asian. <laughs> <laughs> fucking almost killed me. Yeah. Nobody's gonna believe that story for he the rest of his fine. life. His he's friends not. were fine. They witnessed his it. His friends witnessed it. Yeah, and they they're bad friends because they didn't call the cops. Because they were high, yeah. probably. Yeah, or beat the probably. shit out of you. Fuck, so yeah. steal your car, break a window, or well, something. Steal your bike, really? Did you break the spokes in mean? it or anything? I don't. I don't know. I just moved it, and no. then it was like, oh, you drag. God did did you ever do this? Like when somebody's riding a bike, like try to put a stick in the spokes. Hey, my friends. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> I would throw like a spear, and yeah, one yeah. time I got my buddy, and fucking went, oh, yeah, and we all get, laughed. You get a broomstick, right? And that was the game, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a stick, were you? 
Oh, we we, we <laughs> got a broomstick. You just Pretty broke off it. the yeah, yeah yeah, and then like we do it on purpose, and you ride, and then you get the stick and fuck. But I wasn't. I never hit the spoke. I always try to hit the person with the. Oh, that's shit. Fucked up. That's sharp in the end. <laughs> and then the next game we came Jesus. up with was the roping game, uh-huh. uh, which uh, my mother witnessed me almost kill my brother that way. Apparently, because what happened? We went to the rodeo, and I had a real lasso. And the way we played it was: you ride your bike as fast as you can, then you throw a lasso, and it goes over your shoulders. And then you pull him into the grass, right? Because it was street, and here's yeah, like the bro. grass. And so Jesus. It, he, my cousin was good at it. He Does kept he still have scar around his fucking neck. I don't he know kept, this is going. He kept roping us, right? And we and I couldn't rope anybody. And then finally, I got my brother, and it went around right here. And I got so excited, I pulled it back too hard, so the rope came up <gasps> into his neck. Yeah, and he just went. Oh. And my mom witnessed it. She just got home from work. She gets out the car. She sees her <laughs> seven year old little boy go. <laughs> And the bike keeps going and he like, His body. and yeah, and we just both just stopped and he's not making any noise. And in her head, like she was like, my, my child's dead. My oldest killed my youngest. Yeah, he, he broke, snapped his neck. Yeah, I snapped his neck. And so, cause he's I pulled been, he's back been, Has he been hard. off ever since? Oh, he was off changed? before that. Okay. Uh, so, so my, so she, I heard her yell, like scream and I just freeze and my cousin runs and I don't even have my brother. He's about 20 yeah. feet away from me because that's about how long the rope is. Ugh. And then she goes over there. The reason he wasn't making noise is because the rope was so tight. He couldn't scream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So well, she yeah, he's choking. And then took it off. He's just like, oh, and he had rope like all oh, around Jesus his neck. Jesus Christ, dude. And I was, I, was, I was like, don't fuck with me. No, no, don't <laughs> fuck out. And then. Uh, Did uh, you get to keep the rope? No, I got beaten. Oh. I remember getting beaten. You got beaten, really? I got hit pretty hard, yeah. With a hand, belt? Hand and then belt when my dad got home. Jesus, oh. double beaten? Yeah. He well, almost because, killed his brother. Yeah, almost killed he his almost brother. Killed That's his the brother. favorite one. <laughs> if they're going to be left with one, it it's going to be. It's gonna, they want him, not me. I guess, yeah. So it's like, fuck, we got to write the second time. And she, I mean, into witness that. And then I'm like, man, I almost, so I almost murdered my father and my brother. That's insane. One with a rope, one with a gun. Wow. I ran over a dog one time from, and it was the girl I was dating. Oh. Her dog? Oh. Yeah, I ran over a fucking dog. And she saw? No, I, to this to this day she doesn't know it was me. What's her name? Tell her her name. <laughs> Tell her her I name. I drop her off. <laughs> and she lives in a cul-de-sac, right? Yeah. So you ran oh, over she knows the dog, and then you dropped her off. It was no, I dropped her off. So I'm the like, dog attacked your car. You're saying? So I'm pulling up, and I'm instead of she lived for, kind of closer to the cul-de-sac. So I just, instead of me backing up, I just used to go down the thing, come around, you know. Yeah. And I'm going down, and there's this dog in the middle of the street, and he's like. Just laying there, and I'm like, oh, he's he's dead, I guess. I'll just drive over him real quick. <laughs> so he was just napping, and you ran him over. He's asleep, wow. yo. And the last second, I'm about to, put, and I had a Dodge Neon. That thing's low to, to the, the ground. ground. I felt all the crunches. It was uh, fucking awful. Why would you do it on purpose then? No, no, no. He was. I thought he was dead. I thought it was a dead dog. Yeah. So, a, so you were still gonna run over a go dead around dog. the dead dog. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, yeah the dead dog. Because he's. What? Is he a flounder? He's not flat. <laughs> he looked dead. He was laying in the middle of the fucking street. No you animal lays in the middle of the street. Right. Yes, yeah. they do. Apparently he owned the fucking street. That was his cold <laughs> that was his cold set. He just got done anyway, playing. I'm the yard. driving down the fucking thing at the last fucking second. He like popped. He's like, Whoa, what's that? He popped his little head. He was a little dog. He was about this big. Oh, he looked like a Jack Russell Russell Terrier mix or some shit. Oh. Cutest fucking dog in the world. Wow. Haunts, haunted me for years in my fucking nightmares. And his, he, he popped his head up and I was like, ooh, and I just went fast. I'm like, if I go over him fast, maybe. <laughs> He'll die faster. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I just, uh, uh, it was so gross. Did he suffer? No, because I had a- to go down the cul de sac and come back and see him, which was like, oh my God. And his neck was this way, his body was that way. And I was like, oh, Did fuck. Did you run that over sucks. him again? Just. Just no, to no, make no, sure. Why not? He's a dead dog. Yeah. Sure. He's a dead dog. Run over him. <laughs> he might have made it. I'm not going to fucking... Are you, you the know. type of dude... You're the you type know. of dude that sees birds on the floor and like, I'm going to speed up and hit that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> birds, birds, birds can get it. Fuck birds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not dogs. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like a... Anyway, so I drive around. I didn't even... I didn't have to swerve to miss him or anything. This guy was in the middle of the street when I... When I got him, so if he's in the middle, you, no, no, you don't he have moved. to swerve. He moved, dude. There's, it's a, it's a. Okay, you don't understand. I don't ghetto no. neighborhoods because you were a fucking uh, a, a rich kid growing up, right? So ghetto neighborhood, their streets are real. Middle thin. class is rich to this guy. <laughs> ghetto neighborhoods, streets are real small, narrow, and people park in the streets. So you yeah. have to just drive down the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, 
All right, you cake eater. Got it. So fucking, <laughs> I'm driving back down and I see him. He's like, look, ugh. And, um, but you went around him the second time. So I didn't know whose dog it was until the next day. And I called, hey, what's up? I had a good time. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God, <laughs> my fucking dog's dead. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> She's like, someone ran over my fucking dog. I was like, what? <laughs> Where? I'm still thinking it's not her dog. Like, God. She's like, so he, you know, he's a, he's a neighborhood dog. I mean, you know, because again, and like my dog too, he used to roam around the neighborhood. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knew him and shit. Poochie, rest in peace, whatever. And um, <laughs> didn't somebody run over your dog? <laughs> no, though they did, but he it, was a, it was an expedition. Yeah. And he just got knocked in the head. He got scared, ran in the house, went underneath the water bed that my mom used to have. Yeah. Anyway. And then he died there? No, no, no. Poochie lived till he was 17. He, oh, he, 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 he couldn't die. He, yeah. You know, he got hit by a car. He got fucking, uh, uh, something fell on him. Like yeah. he had a shelf and had a bunch of shit and it fell all over him. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, he, Poochie couldn't die. He died of natural causes at yeah. 17, at 182 years old. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm like, well, what did your dog look like? You know? Like he's all white with brown spot and a brown ear. And I was like, oh fuck! Oh, geez, oh shit! Is his neck twisted? <laughs> yeah. 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 Was he looking in the other direction? Was he sleeping? <laughs> was it his fault though? And Does he like, like to nap in the middle of the street? <laughs> yeah. Is he like? Does he think he runs the neighborhood? Is he like a block runner dude? Because yeah. I'll tell you right now, whoever did it didn't know that. <laughs> I like how you try to deflect. Like, it was just like, this rich guy, you ran over the dog. Fuck you. No, but you don't understand. But I get it. You know, you don't. Yeah, You're I, scared I, to go, too. I just, I just take you, my old neighborhood. Anyway, um, I, I, it haunted me for fucking years, dude. It haunted me for years until my, I told my dad about it. And he's like, oh, I, I did the same thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to, to his girlfriend's dog? No, dog? no. My, my father, when they were kids... This is a fucked up story. You might, you might have to edit this out. Then don't say it. No. I'm not going to. No. I don't want, nope. I don't want to edit it. All right. It well, I'll, I'll tell you offline. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't want to edit it. I ran, I ran over my cousin's kitten. I went I went over That's to it. their house and I was saying is bye. Oh, yeah. All right. I was saying bye. And uh, is it 20 minutes? Okay. What time does she get off at? Why is she like, oh, okay. Like, this is a fucking thing. I don't know. What time does she get, get off at? Um, I told I get he, he told me to light him at 20 minutes. So he's going to do 35? Yeah, fuck. He'll do 45 like a fucking asshole. Okay. Well, she has to do <laughs> announcements and stuff. I told her not to. No, no. They didn't. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Ran I ran over a kitten. A kitten, kitten. And it was... It was oh. You always on want to help me on like kitten animal stories, dude. It was a tiny, beautiful angel kitten. And... Uh, Name whispers. <laughs> <laughs> that was my cousins. And we went over, I went over to their house and I was leaving. I was like, Bye. And she was, and it was cold. I remember, and she was like this in front. She was like, "Where's my?" <laughs> and then I just, and then, and then I'm like backing, up, I'm backing up. I don't hear a crunch. It's a kitten. I'm in an SUV. Oh my god, oh, dude! Because I'm a rich guy, and so. <laughs> <Thank> you, dude. <laughs> and so it was a Tahoe. It was really nice. Anyway, so I'm going back right. And I don't hear anything. I just hear it go, oh, and I'm like, what? And I just like kind of stop. And then yeah. the lights, you just see the half, the back half of the kitten's flat. And the oh. front half just stop. Oh. Oh. You know, like, like, like no, the skunk? No, yeah, but no. Oh, but moving, shit. Moving yeah, yeah, the, no, that's they, how a skunk was. The hips are like open. Oh, my God, Like filleted dude. like a chicken, right? Oh. And then it and just. he was just bare knuckling ah. away? Like, yeah, yeah, like. Ah. And I was just like. Was yeah. it a noise like the skunk? Like, it was, I was like. Ah. Hyper hyperventilating, you know, no, it was just like meowing, but it was in yeah, shock. His lungs lungs were crushed. Yeah, yeah. Was crushed on him, yeah. And so she was like freaking out. She's like, I can't, I can't just, right, be all right, just be all right. take it, just take it. And and so just take the kitten? Yeah, yeah. To the to the vet. I'm an idiot. I'm freaking out. Oh fuck. I go dude. get a shoebox and I scoop the thing in. Yeah, he's like, and uh, I put it in the towel. And is he still alive? Yeah. And he's just yeah, 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 like looking at me. <laughs> I would have just put and him I'm in like, a, fuck put him in a sock and just smashed him on the fucking oh, my dad. Put my dad's like misery. grab his head and just twist him. Yeah, and he's done. put him <laughs> like on the fucking chicken. misery. Dude. I went to the fucking vet and I put him in there. I was like, I don't have my cousin's cat over So we're able to save no, they're like thousand dollars. They're like his his the lower half, everything's just crushed. He's in shock right now. He's not gonna make it so we can put them out for you and I'm like all did right did they charge you 100 that. bucks Damn, oh that's, that's not too up. bad uh, and all they did was twirl him around by his neck <laughs> so, <laughs> so fucking wrong dude and then they, yeah and so he was uh, they peeled him and cut then, him and then, and then uh, I remember uh, uh, like it wasn't too long later that I, I wanted to go somewhere and I was like hey can I get some gas money I need like just 10 bucks he's like I know you got money what are you talking about I know you have money I was like no I don't my dad I had to pay just, for a cat's death yeah, yeah he was just like <laughs> you fucking idiot yeah he was yeah. just like just twirl it I was like, I couldn't twirl the 
fucking cat? What kind of a pussy son? No, he didn't say that. But <laughs> who you am I raising? Take this and he hands you a gun and shit. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like I said, one up, man. You got to one up. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, but that's the... That's I, awful. I killed that thing. I'm sure you've killed... I mean, you've, you said you killed 13-year-old boys. I hit he, two. You maimed them. You hit two. It was two. Bolted bikes? Both, both in bikes, two you different occasions. Ride bikes. Never ride a scooter. Never ride a scooter. <laughs> where you where is people. this like? I, okay, this first time maniac. was just like in this neighborhood, right? And the second time I was on the boardwalk. So I was like leaving the little toll booth thing and this like group of kids. Bro, you weren't on your. Oh my God, dude. Can you tell the story? You just said a group of kids. A group of kids, right? Okay. Was just crossing the little boardwalk thing, but they didn't use the crosswalks. So that's on them, right? Always their fault. Got it. <laughs> Always their fault. Oh but God, they're on dude. bikes, right? Yeah. And so I'm driving and then I'm stopping and it's like one of those like real light ones where you're like, oh, speed up a little bit, right? And yeah. I speed up and then the kid just kind of went pop in front of me. I was like, oh, fuck. And so then I stopped, but he was on his bike. And again, I hit his bike, not him. He was fine. And it wasn't that tore up. This one he could like really push. I didn't even have to lift it. I yeah. was just like, you didn't have to hide the evidence. <laughs> no. I was like, hey man, like what the Jesus fuck? Christ. And he was just like, oh, I'm sorry. And his friends were, they were like probably 13 again. They all yeah. look the same size, right? So you hate young teens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> young teens. They're fine. He yeah. was fine. I was like, hey, like. Were you also you on your way to buy drugs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I think I was stoned. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jesus. probably both times you were stoned. No. First time I was sober, I was trying yeah. to get drugs. This time I was stoned trying to go home. Mm. And then so I hit him and he look. got up mm -hmm. and I was just like, hey, man, like you got to stay on the sidewalk. Like you got to use the crosswalk. Yeah. You can't be the just same going. Spiel you get Actually, bikes aren't supposed to be on the sidewalk. You know yeah. what, right? Or whatever. Bike lanes. Where Where's your crosswalk. bike? Bikes can no, be I'm, in the street. I'm in the I bike. don't know how to ride a bike. I was driving there a car. We go. Oh, you were driving a car the second time? <laughs> yeah, I was driving a car both times. I hit the kid with the car both times. Oh, I thought you said you were on a bike. No, no, oh. no. She was in a car, dude. That's oh, why, in a car. That's okay, why okay. I'm thinking, like, how, why am I overreacting? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you're like, oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought you no. said you were on a bike. No, I hit him in my car, and yeah. then the he was fine. He just got up, and I was like, you got to be careful. You look like the type and that I would jump go. out and be like, you fucking scratched my car. It wasn't a nice car. If it I was, think I'm going up. <laughs> all right, cool. If it was Man, a nice car, why didn't y'all tell me tonight was supposed to be matchy matchy with all the blue and then the green? Looks like you're wearing the male jumper. <laughs> 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 what is it? A male romper? Yeah, it's yeah. a romper. There romper, we go. Yeah. Is that a romper? This is a romper. Okay, I, yeah. what did I say? Jumper. Jumper. <laughs> what is a jumper? A person is, that jumps. Is that that's not a thing? Is <laughs> it? I'm gonna invent a new thing. It's called jumpers. <laughs> It there's a connects at the bottom. There's a thing called a man romper. It's like a gromper. Mm -hmm. I actually love a boxing. I bought one until everybody started making fun of it. And I was like, oh. No, man. you didn't. I swear to God. They, they look, they look kind of cool. Was it denim? No, it was, no, it was pastel. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Quite a bit. Are you? Quite a bit. I ask you, the, I ask you this every time. <laughs> I know. I, what, I what, just what like a piece it, of I shit. Just, I just like you to say it out loud. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And all of them are That's always cool. like, please bring Breckel up. Yeah. Get him get him drunk. That's what they always say. Yeah. No, nobody, nobody all the comments. knows you. They're nobody like, man, knows you. gotta you. have that white they're, bald guy on They're like, again. when's yeah. when did when was Costanzo That's what on I, the yeah. podcast? That's what everybody always thinks. <laughs> they, we dress him up as Costanza. We're talking about how I'm the uh, favorite reoccurring character on this podcast. Yeah. Are, are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, I'll take a leak real quick. So you're oh, okay. All right. You should take the mic in there with you. Oh, take you, the mic in there with you. You're going to sit down when you pee? Okay, that's not weird. Wouldn't it splash on you more if you're sitting down? You sit down you're closer. I do at night for sure. In the mo- yeah, like night when you gotta at night, sleep. in the morning, when I'm sad, whatever. Nope. That's not, that's not, that's not like uncool or something. Whatever you got to tell you. No, it's, I'm not at all. It's sanitary. Kibaza has a whole bit about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not true. <laughs> he really likes your material, you can tell. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't like it. No, no, no. None of my friends really do. I like but you know what? Jokes. They can all quote the shit out of it. Yeah. So and that's all they give a fuck it's about. It's easy when it's hacky. It's like, oh yeah, I remember really? that one. Yeah, really? Really. <laughs> this is in my house, having cough syrup, <laughs> sucking dick. That's exactly it. That's <laughs> the of what I do. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what you say. Yeah. Like, here we go, Brackle. Nice. Again at the open mic. Here he is, what talking is about sucking his own dick again. I didn't say your own dick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, me either. What, what did I say? Yeah, yeah, you said sucking your own. Oh, yeah, yeah. So right now, I was like, this, sure. this couch stinks. And then I realized it's my shirt. I smell. Yeah, this, I, this, this couch does not smell bad at all. I think, this, it's, a, I I think th- it's a brand new couch. I to think be so honest. too. I think it's my shirt. My shirt. It's a dope shirt. It's just, it's I wear it so much. He's trying to get sponsorship on that shirt. You wear a lot of graphic tees. It's like kind of your uh, thing. These are only the shirts that still fit. Has that always been that? I bet when you were younger, you wore a lot of button ups, didn't you? I wore a lot of old navy. Did you? Yeah. It's more of a white guy thing. Like, well, no, see, let's try it out. That's that's, uh, no, no, no. Old navy t shirts that said old navy and had weird stuff on it. Oh, because you can go buy five for 25. That's Uh, a good deal. uh, Did you know when, uh, well, I don't know how how your parents were, but uh, they would take me school shopping, mm-hmm. and I was a fat little boy, and I had Believable. this. All right, and I had <laughs> the same spending limit as my little brother who shopped in kids, but I had to shop in uh, adult, small chubby. Adult. Is it younger brother, or older brother? Younger brother. Okay. I feel like kids' clothes is more expensive than adult clothing. Cheaper. Is Definitely it? Definitely cheaper. So the only way yeah, to know. Why do you think that? Yeah, it's a weird I thing just, to think. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, well, uh, okay, because whenever you're buying Oshkosh or like yeah, some expensive like whenever stuff. I go Oshkosh? buy like baby clothes for people's baby showers, it's oh, like yeah. thirty dollars for a little uh, little dress. Yeah, right? okay, yeah, but thirty dollars for a little dress compared to thirty dollars for some pants plus twenty dollars for a shirt plus you know what I mean. That's the whole outfit is thirty dollars. That's true. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's so true. you'd have to go to Old Navy and get like ten T-shirts, and that was forty bucks. Yeah. Was it all like the same yep. shirt, just in different colors? Yeah, pretty much. A lot of solids. A lot I, of solids. <laughs> I used to go to Walmart and get the four pack of Hanes shirts with the uh, with the pocket on it. Yeah, I love that shit. Those, yeah, are nice. those you wear, you wash those twice though, and they're they're done. Yeah, they're all, they're, it's, it's, it's all messed up. Yeah, or, there's, there's holes too, all of them. Too short and wide. Yeah, they get the, uh, the like the little holes around the 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 bottom. I used to think it's because I used to work at like a, a lot of like restaurants and shit. And I was yeah. constantly using bleach. And I was like, oh, that's where the holes are coming from. And I was like, no, it's because I'm buying a four pack of shirts for $12. That's, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's also the fabric yeah. softener. That's why these jeans I wear every day. And now, like if people have watched the podcast from the beginning, these are the jeans I wear every single time. And you've seen <laughs> we them. We all know those are the jeans. Oh, hey, there's another the mic. Come on in. Back. Jump on in. Keep it lively. Oh, all perfect. Right. That's perfect. We're talking about that. That's what, yeah, that's what this topic was. No, that's perfect. Uh there you go. That's a lot of comics' favorite segue. It's kind of a reoccurring thing going well, on. <laughs> I don't know if you heard of Mark Norman. Yeah. You're blocking no, the entire right camera. Uh, it started with. You're uh, blocking all the cameras at once. <laughs> <laughs> or making it better. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the back of Jay White Cotton's back. And that one's mirrorless, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they filmed Get Out with that as Kabaza just you explained. You can sit in that chair. Oh, wait, wait. No, Mark Norman, we uh, this started as a group thing. Uh, Andrew Polk out of LA. He was from New Orleans, where mm-hmm. Mark Norman uh, started from. Dave Lasso in Chicago, our buddy Sam Talent. Uh, and then it spread to the Nick Mullen and the Come Town crew, mm-hmm. where it's just there was a period where everyone was just coming out like, I'm gay. And then every comic who was gay, that was their intro, like, I'm gay. 
And it was like, it had nothing to do with any joke after that. Yeah, <laughs> but it was, it was a big like, thing from coming out of New Orleans though, right? Well, no, we just started like uh, commenting on Facebook posts that went on too long about some nonsense. Like I can't, you know, whatever comedian fucked up or if there was a, an, uh, someone was just making this grand thing, it's like, I think we need to fix the doors at such and such establishment. It's like thousand paragraphs. So at the end we just put, I'm gay. I think I've seen you post that a few times. Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's so funny. I've, I've been doing it now way too much in public where I was walking around the mall and all those kiosks where they try to get you samples, they go, "Hey, would you like those?" like, "I'm sorry, I'm gay." <laughs> <laughs> Every one of them just stops like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, like, yeah it makes no, sense it, to them. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, you can't because you're gay. It's funny not I, lot, I think a lot of people think it's homophobic, but I think it's funny because it's the most ridiculous time to come out to someone. Exactly. That's why it's funny. Exactly. Just being like in the middle of I'm gay. Oh. It it doesn't make mm-hmm. sense. It doesn't raise yeah. and also it takes away the uh the uh, the impetus uh, and the value of it so Time it, what it, it that normalizes word it. The impetus? Yes. Like a focus. Ah, got it. Oh, I thought you said emphasis. I no. can't even hear those big words. I heard impotent. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you know what that means. <laughs> yes, I do. You know exactly what that means. Low testosterone. Don't be talking about my medical condition. What? You talk about it on stage. You have low T? that's for, huh? You have low T? It's you in your credits. Them? I don't. <laughs> we have to bring you up on stage. This next guy really has low T. <laughs> I don't have low testosterone. I just have very high estrogen. So it's, Two things we know oh, about Josh Kibaza. Yeah. Gay uh, and low T. It's the worst combination. Hey, you got two kids, so you have enough tea. I mean, I once was Does that a, affect your sperm man. count? Does tea apparently affect the sperm count? Apparently it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, interesting. I, uh, apparently always- What do you guys do now? You guys on birth control? Are you guys have another kid? Wow. Your wife. Do you want another one? <laughs> Wow. Uh, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, Josh. Did you get snipped? Josh you snipped? doesn't have kids. He has job security. There we go. That's <laughs> the exactly more kids he gets, is. the more he can focus on stand That is true. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. You probably, they're getting older. You got to have another one. Yeah. You're going to be getting a job. They're going to be self sufficient soon. They're they won't both need in school you. already. So it's just Actually, like, your wife seems to be very supportive. Yes. Yeah. That's seems. probably what makes you less funny. If I bet if she was l- less supportive, you like giving you more shit better. for it. No, I think she's the right amount of supportive. Because if you supported him too much, she'd be enabling. So he still has to fight. How is to be she able to... not enabling? Well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> All she's, she's doing is enabling. Too enabling. No, follow your dreams, Kavaza. Yeah, go too to the comedy club. Enabling. Film a podcast with four of your buddies. In the... <laughs> too <laughs> enabling. The whole time Get you guys... that mirrorless camera. The whole time you guys are talking, I'm just going to be focusing on my face. Just... <laughs> All right, cool, man. <laughs> Man, that Josh yeah. guy sucks. <laughs> just a question. I was like, you only have two GoPros? Get every... a third one, honey. We don't need the no, college fund. It's funny. I've had I've had uh, people that we've done shows, uh, and they're like, yeah, we listen to your podcast. I didn't like you at first. And I was just like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I was like, what Isn't do you mean? Isn't that open up conversations? Well, to be fair, you are unlikable. Uh, that happens to me so much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But that's, I think that that it's has more to do with, with them. No, it's absolutely. I didn't grow up with money, though. I was reading, so we, we did that roast last week, and I went through and I was reading old roast jokes I'd written for people, and you were on another roast I'd done with you, and literally on one of the jokes, it was, I hate Kabaza. <laughs> this is probably like two years ago. That was when I was just writing through ideas. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, the, the, I like you now, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, at the beginning. Uh, you know, it's funny. Good. Gabby <laughs> said that two podcasts ago. She was like, I don't know what you changed. I'm like, nothing changed. I'm the same person. Like, She's like, no, you changed. You changed no, a little bit. No, you relented to new people showing up. Is that what happened? You got used to I think that. a little bit. Yeah. Or, I, or they got used to me. You scoffed at everyone. It's both. You scoffed at every new person that came to do comedy because so many of them are terrible. So you just did a blanket judgment on everybody starting comedy. But if they stuck it out, you're just like, oh, well, this is my new best friend You could potentially still be that way. And we've just been around long enough that you uh, like us now. Or maybe you don't like us. I don't know. You'll maybe guys, you just you'll, tolerate do the same us. thing. Once you do it as long as he has, you're going to do the exact you're same just thing. Uh, well, okay. I, I'm okay. still in San Antonio I, 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 as long I, as he has. <laughs> Damn. No, you'll be dead by then. Damn. That's your British true. girlfriend. But he has a, you know, a heart and kidney failure. He's, he's dying. I, I would say I'm dismissive, but that's only because, okay, for example. He's hacking Garza. There, there was, <laughs> there was, there was uh, uh, a comic who was just like, I saw your set. Good job. He's like, dude. I've been doing it two years and you finally saw my set. I'm like, yeah. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? And you're just like, just saying, I've been doing it two years. I'm like, yeah. all right. So if somebody who'd been doing it like three months said, hey, you, you said good set. And they were like, you finally saw my set. And he's like, well, yeah, they only been doing it three months. I'm like, yeah, you only been doing it two years. Yeah. You know why they did that. Yeah. 
Because they wanted me to see their set. No, they're so self-consumed with themselves because this is a scary job. It's a business that's very scary to get on stage. It's so you're they so self-consumed. Up to you. you're self it's gross. probably what it is. They look up yeah. to you because you've been here forever. They want your approval. And, yeah, and they because want your approval. Because they need a hierarchy to feel like what they're doing is worthwhile. Unfortunately, you're the top of the ladder. <laughs> yeah. It makes you feel better. I tell all the new people you're not shit. So Thank that's you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Don't I do always what he tell does. them to go to you for comedy advice. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> I like watching them do it. Oh, I tell them to go to Kabaz if they want to buy a new camera. That's what I say. <laughs> he knows, he all knows a lot about cameras. I tell them that for all the podcasts I'm supposed to do, they got to go through Kabaz first. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Appreciate it. I like how this whole... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, John. No, just, the whole energy just changed. <laughs> this whole energy changed. Uh, we were talking about buttholes, I and I was very comfortable about that. Oh, you're going through your set? What's yeah. going on? <laughs> And then we're going to move on to eating ass. Yeah. And then it just everybody's just like, hey, talk about your personal life and what's happening. I'm like, that's weird. What's well, fun? You know, we care about your personal life. Yeah. Take a lot For of what? investment in. Reflect on funny. stage. It's enjoyable to talk about. Because <laughs> it makes you feel better yeah, about yeah. yours. I'm like, ah, I'm doing fine. Appreciate it. <laughs> nah, you got a family that loves you. They, yeah, they do. Yeah. That's good. They do love you. got you. one pair of jeans you really like. That's I nice. Do. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that. How if you watch the podcast, because I wear the same jeans, you can watch the holes get bigger <laughs> in each episode. I refuse to watch your podcast. Um, I know, but uh, I watch it a lot and I notice that. So now everybody else can notice that. It's like a little Easter egg. Did and the then, jeans, did you buy the jeans with the holes? We're about to see your it? Easter eggs. I know, right? There's a hole here too. You can see the underwear. Did anyway. you buy them with holes in it? No, 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 no. They were like this. Do you like them better now that they have holes? No, I don't. I have to watch out to not put my toe in this because this ripped Ooh. even more. It was a lot smaller. Don't and then you, my big go. toe got in there and I was like, what? And I was like, How ah. did you start getting holes because on I your knees? Fa- right on my knees and right here because of fabric <laughs> softener. That's why. That's my excuse. What? You only put it on your knees? No, that um, just so happens. I've never heard this about fabric no, softener. Uh, yeah, I use fabric softener. No, dude, it's you bend your knees. Yeah, there so you go. Just you're going to have more wear and tear on your yeah. knees and yes. your crotch. Also, your knees are getting a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the fatness around the yeah. knees. Yeah. Why don't you just buy a new pair of pants? Are you sure you're not the Hulk? That, because that's expensive. That's oh, you're ex- saving up for another GoPro. That, okay, yeah. you want to know the real reason I buy a new pair of pants? Because I went to go try some on, and now I'm a size 38, and I refuse to buy a 38 because these are 36s, and I've been wearing them so long that they've stretched to my size, and I will not be a 38. I am a 36. That's why. There, you got it out of me, Breckle. You happy? Have you tried 38 slow? No one's surprised by your denial. I don't want, I'm not putting a 38 on. I will never be a 38. I will die at 36. And so what? what, what? Are you that dedicated to shopping at Express? I will be. <laughs> There's no 38 at Express. There's There's not. No, you do shop at Express, I, though. I go yeah. in purposely and ask shop them. At Express. Go, hey, do you have a 38? <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> like the cashier is just miserable. Get the fuck out of my store. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was very upset when I had to buy a 36 when I turned 30. And I will not get a 38. Because if I get a 38, then one day I will be a 40. And then. What, what ideal ways do you want to be? What, what, where do you want to be at? 33? I don't give a shit as long as I don't go into a 38. Yeah. Well, it's not like you're so pretty you're pissed happy off about a 36. I will make these into shorts before I fucking wear a 38. <laughs> I like the judging. So you're happy with this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you could uh, just lose some weight. That's, that's an I'm option. I'm trying. That's a, I got a stomach virus a few days ago. And oh, I lost yeah. 10 pounds. So <laughs> wow. That Is that out. true? Yeah, yeah. From what? Uh, my what? son got sick and then... Uh, Water weight. Then we all got sick. Oh, yeah. I was just shitting, vomiting, shitting, vomiting. I, I was bloated. I... Yeah, I couldn't fit my. Well, I didn't wear my ring today, but my ring. Did you didn't. get a whole new twenty minutes in your act out of it? Oh, I was going to talk about it that <laughs> night, but then my daughter told me something, so I switched it. Yeah, I, one thing I did learn: uh, when you do vomit and then take a shit, make sure to wipe the seat from vomit because then you sit in the vomit and it's gross. And then yeah, you had to learn that. I had to learn that. <laughs> I did not know Most that. Most people see vomit on the seat and they're like, "I'm going to." No, watch I that. didn't see it. It was clear. And then it's just, ugh, it was gross. It was disgusting. The lights off in your bathroom? No, lights are on. <laughs> lights are on, but you just, you're just you just trying to get everything in one I gotcha. toilet. It sounds like food poisoning. No, it was uh, a bug that my 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 uh, my son had. Yeah, My dad was going to give me some jeans. And he was just like, I got some. Nah, never Does mind. Does he wear There's, a 38? No, he wears a 34. And he was just <laughs> like, never mind, you're too fat. But he didn't do it like, fuck you, you're too fat. He did it like he literally was thinking out loud. It was just like, I got some. Je- nah, never mind, you're too fat. You can't wear those. I was like, fucking thanks, pops. But he did give me these shoes. Thank you, dad. <laughs> oh, there you go. You can still oh, fit in the these shoes. These shoes. Nice. Actually, he gave me these shoes because I had these shoes before. And then my cat pissed in them. 
because I locked him in our room for two days accidentally. And that's what two happens. Two days? We left. We left the house. That sucks. And he was in our room. He had... That's well, he didn't fine. That's a lot of space for a small animal. Yeah, but he didn't eat for two days. Oh. We thought yeah. he was in another room and we had all the other doors open. And then he, whenever he gets mad, he decides what's mine. And then he pisses in it. Cats do that. I used to have a cat that would poop in my clothes. In your clothes? In my clothes. Just like in my pile of laundry only. I wouldn't mind the poop. I do mind the piss because it doesn't come out. And I, what? I, what? Yeah, because the poop no, smell. The smell is more overwhelming, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Cat piss is the fucking worst. Yeah, it doesn't come out. I'm not a cat. I'm not a, not a, not a cat. Like mm-hmm. I, I had, I, I stole, I aired them out. I still, I still wore the shoes. But then I had to take my son to Taekwondo. And I took off my shoes because you can't wear them on the mat. Yeah. And the whole room smelled like cat piss. And Why does he go after like, your shit? I didn't go after your wife's shit. What? Why does he go after your shit? When he said when he wants to piss. Because I am off. the leader of the house. <laughs> okay. That's why. No, Even I your cat knows. That. I know. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just, he just, he's like, fuck he that He doesn't dude. like you. He's a lot like other people. He's like an open micer. Everybody knows <laughs> when it's time to gang up on a person in the house. It's Pick the weakest person in the house. Or the biggest. I, mm-hmm. I say the biggest. Mm-hmm. So they go after uh, me. Like the animals don't know. Do you think your son will be bigger than you? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Like taller or fatter? Are you taller than your dad? You could have sent a bulkier. You could have said <laughs> Heftier? Whiter. Anything but fatter. Uh, no, he's going to be he's probably taller and, and bigger. He has like little caps on his shoulders. Is your, is your uh, wife's family big? Uh, her dad's a bodybuilder. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Is He's that... a bodybuilder and, uh, he went to prison for six years and, uh, I love that we're just he... interviewing you. <laughs> that's what it, I, that's what it turned into. I don't know why. And he, really uh, into all your family. he fixes appliances. So he's like a man's man. Oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah. Oh, poor. The opposite of you. Oh, he's, he has money. Yeah. <laughs> the real opposite of you. Yeah. So what does your dad do? Into you. Uh, he sells insurance. Oh, yeah. Like car insurance? No, like all types of insurance. Are you leaving? Okay. He has another podcast to do. I know. <laughs> well, the bathroom's behind you. Thank you for joining. George sat down and pissed. It was tight. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's wearing all black too. It's just it's thinning. Yeah, that's what fat guys do. <sighs> See, I can wear the. Uh, Stripes. stripes. Yeah, but you weigh like 125? I actually weigh 147. I haven't weighed which is surprising. You know when I weighed 147 in seventh grade? Well, you're probably about my height in seventh grade, too. So what are you? Five four? Five six. (laughs) Five four. (laughs) I'm two inches off. That's that's pretty short. It's two inches off. Yeah, it's a big Two inches makes a big big difference. Ah, There we go. Finally. (laughs) Welcome back. Um, What is up? We're talking about two inches making a difference. Huh. Yeah, Hi, yeah. Boys. does it? Does two inches make a difference? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can do your favorite joke now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're talking about knife. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about your favorite joke. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your favorite joke? <laughs> you should probably say no. it for everyone to hear. No, nah, oh, it's it, good. It's is good. it your grandma's favorite joke? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> See, and y'all knew it. And y'all fucking knew it. Watching this podcast. She's like, say it, Joshy. I, uh, my grandma's never heard that joke. <laughs> my grandma's never. Uh, has your grandma heard any of your jokes? Has your grandma come to a show? Oh, uh, my grandma thinks I'm on TV because somebody put me on YouTube on her TV at home. Oh. She's oh. like, I saw you on TV. Oh, that's the worst. I was like, what? And then, and then my aunt was like, we played her on YouTube on the TV. And I was just like, <laughs> and she laughed and she was like, she was dying. I was just like, really? But I, she wasn't Kill really it. watching it. She was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what was, where were you that she thought you were on TV? Were you at the Tigers? <laughs> like, the my album? They, oh. they put my clip of my album on and, oh, okay. and they put it on YouTube and to <laughs> her. Like, wow. YouTube is this the is same TV, as Netflix. But there's only yeah, 10 people true. in the audience. Weird. There was 40 people. There was 40 people on the uh, audience. This was the second show. Like, I my little uh he's my second cousin kind of like my nephew uh he is like every time i i go and visit him he thinks like i'm uh he he wants to be a youtuber oh so he's like he has stuff on youtube that's crazy so he's like he wants to be well he's how many subscribers are on your (laughs) 
703, and I thank all 703 of you. I That's appreciate really good. It. His it nephew is. has 800, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure. If I, if I did ASMR, I'm pretty sure I can get over 1,000 in a week. But Does your uh, grandma no speak English? No one's listening to your ASMR. Yes, they will. <laughs> Does your grandma speak English? She's going to be you slowly weeping into a microphone <laughs> as I tell my bits. That's my next album. That's my next ASMR. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> uh, that would be so fun. Does my grandma what? Does your grandma speak English? Yeah. Does she know that it was you? She has no idea it was YouTube. She just thinks it's like yeah, she, TV. YouTube, Netflix, who that's all the same shit to her. It was a oh. uh, how do you say willful ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she doesn't give a shit. I mean, she's, just, she's like, oh, TV, whoa, that's in, you know what I mean? Uh, like if she sees it on a phone, yeah. she's like, okay, that's on a phone. Yeah, you can show her a movie. And it's like it's on a phone though. But you put it on the TV, that's a fucking. It's on TV. It's yeah, it's like holy yeah. shit. How'd you do that? It's on YouTube. That's like a Netflix thing, right? It's true. I went back for a family reunion. Are you going to use that for a credit, like I as should. seen <laughs> on YouTube? I mean, I, I can do that. Fuck it. <laughs> I have about better, better than any credit I have right now. <laughs> His video has fifty views and counting. Uh, <laughs> Coming next to the stage. <laughs> uh, my my. Uh, we were talking about my jeans earlier. My mom actually called me because it's going to be their 30, I'm um, 34, so 35th anniversary. Oh, you're 34? I thought you were 32. No, I said 30, that. I, I know. I was so happy when you said that. I was like, damn yeah, right. I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> 34. <laughs> so they're having the 35th anniversary. So she knows I have holes in my jeans. So she's like, you're not wearing those. So my mom, my mommy bought me jeans. And, uh, what size are they? 36. <laughs> 36. And he couldn't fit into them. Yeah, like, <laughs> he ended up not going to this. Listen, I will wear them unbuckled with a belt. All right. I don't give a shit. The zipper will not zip all the way up. I don't care. I'll just wear a long shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not tucking that bitch in. I'm you wearing a long shirt. You can also use a rubber band. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but she, she was just like, yeah. I was telling the guy who picked out your outfit. Aww. I was like, you got me an outfit? She's like, I'm not letting... Because she knows I'll go like this. So uh, That's, then, that's and, sad for her. And then I'm going to take the receipt. <laughs> and I'm going to take all that shit back to, <laughs> to where she bought it. store credit. I'm, I'm going to get my money back. Fuck that. I'm going to keep all the tags on. And get them. None of this fit. My mom bought it for me. Can I have the money? It goes back on the credit card. Never mind. <laughs> Son of a I'll sell it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going to Play-Dohs. Wow. You don't even need the tag on it anymore. As long as you have the tag intact, they'll oh, take really? it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I worked retail for a set amount Express. of time. Express, yeah. they make you keep I don't know where she oh, bought okay. it. Probably Gap. I'm thinking Gap. Gap. Yeah. I feel like Gap would not care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As long as you had the tag, they'd and, be like. And so she, she's like, she was like, I was telling him you did a comedy, and we wanted to know your friend Raul. What was he on? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he got bored of you real quick, but no, he was super no. interested in Raul. <laughs> no, my my mom. Whenever she brings me up, she's like, yeah, his friend got a bunch of views. <laughs> And was on what was he on Showtime? But Kabaza <laughs> produced his album. <laughs> yeah, with his camera, with, with a mirrorless camera. <laughs> to be, even though they made mirrors. To be totally honest, I did not film it. I didn't even film it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't film it. I didn't record it. I just, I put it out. That's all I did. Put it out. I put it out and yeah. and and didn't even edit it. There was no editing really. It was just the beginning and I put it on. Yeah, it really goes to show how great of a comic he is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah. your mom brags about him. Well, she. Booked us. <laughs> she booked us for the 2017 Fourth of July in my hometown, and he headlined, and uh, I opened for him. It was, uh, it was a good deal. All your I was like, well, I'd like you to headline, but <laughs> yeah, it was the first time uh, my, my dad ever <laughs> saw me. It was the first time my dad ever saw me, and it, thank God the mics they couldn't hear they couldn't hear us. It was outside, and I recorded it. Go check out on FMCW Studios, uh, Wait, why 2017, it, 4th of July. Hear you? Because there were six people in this field. Oh, I think I actually remember seeing yeah, that. Yeah, it was yeah. more depressing than I've seen Oh, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I couldn't hear you, but I saw you up there. And I was like, thank God you couldn't hear me. <laughs> but then Raul goes You kind of look fat. <laughs> 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 you know, look, pretty, look pretty big up there. I was actually 30 pounds lighter uh, at that time. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for bringing it up. Thank you for bringing it up. And, and my uh, jeans didn't have any holes in them at that time either. Nope. <laughs> they you were know, brand I'm, new. I'm at a low point right now. <laughs> The, it's fine. the beginning of the podcast was going great. And then White Con came in here and was just like, let me go ahead and just do this. <laughs> and awesome. then it became about me. Uh, so. It's fine. My yeah. dad thinks I'm a singer. 
Really? What? Yeah. Or is that he, what he tells people? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. He stalked me on Facebook because we're not friends, right? And then he saw my <laughs> he saw my profile picture with the microphone and he called my sister and was like, oh my God, she's a singer now. She's doing really well. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, she must have a low voice because I never <laughs> see her really belted. <laughs> <Right? laughs> just... Why are all the people <laughs> laughing at her? And then, and then no he goes and that. he calls. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's too easy. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was like, who's gonna do it? Who's <laughs> gonna do it? Uh, he goes and he calls his cousin and is like, guess what? My daughter's a singer now. So his cousin calls my mom and is like. Your daughter's a singer now. And my mom was like, she sings? And I tell her I do comedy all the time. (laughs) All the fucking time. And she was like, oh, she sings now. So she calls my grandma. I went over there and my grandma bought me stage outfits. Oh. <laughs> with like cheetah print and like fringe and all this other stuff. I was like, nice. where the fuck are you buying all this shit? <laughs> and she's been getting me stuff at Plato's Closet. Uh, for stage outfits. Your old shit. Yeah. 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 All playing <laughs> Your mom bought it first, <laughs> turned it in, she buys it. Oh, well, that's it. a good idea. <laughs> Plato's Closet. <laughs> I could take it there and be like, this is brand new. Uh, I feel like Plato's Closet doesn't give you shit for... Yeah, no, they, they don't. They don't uh, it's so bad. Also, I try like, to sell my old suits there. <laughs> I try to sell a bunch of shit. <laughs> They're like, we're not buying your suits. Apparently, men's warehouse suits are worth nothing. Uh, so yeah, like, we Maybe all you gotta go to like the more bougie stores. Well, it's I because went, all the waste on yours are stretched out. Though. We can't take this. <laughs> Actually, we can't uh, take this in. This seems like a 36, but it's much more like a 38. <laughs> all, my, all my suits, uh, I had like... I, have, I had had have eight suits but they're all you for eight suits yeah for, for what? what oh you used to do door-to-door shit and sold oh. cars you guys didn't know you used to do door-to-door <laughs> no I, was a, I did not know i was that. a business professional you were the ones that knocked and was you like is your mom <laughs> i was a you business pro- I, I made wow. i made 70 80 grand a year man i was <laughs> and you gave I that up for this. were, were yeah. you the one knocked on the door and was like is the queen of the castle home no 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 I'd go to I'd I'd go to I'd go to I know it was. Is that a line? It's a line. Kids And then I grab her I grab her hand and go "Mm, hello man I think it's taken away in handcuffs. <laughs> be like, I have Tupperware for you. Uh, and uh, it's all great. Does the queen like Tupperware? <laughs> no. <laughs> More of a ceramic? Okay. Well, okay. I'll sell it. I also sell sex toys. And I have cologne Davis in my trunk. Davis did that for a while. I think he still does, doesn't he? Doesn't Isn't he? that his wife's thing? Yeah. Like selling sex toys? I think so, yeah. yeah. They did the same thing. It's like a Tupperware party with just sex toys. Fun yeah, stuff. people oh, do wow. that. Yeah. I don't know how much you can make off a dildo, but dildos a lot. are expensive. They're expensive. Yeah, yeah. they're fucking up there. They're pricey. Not surprised you know that, but the way you I bought came a dildo out, before. Yeah. It wasn't for myself. It's for his girlfriend. It wasn't attended for myself, but you get home and you just do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. Keep going. It's like, well, I bought a dildo once for a partner, you know, went in there. So she, you guys didn't go together. You went to the place. I went was to the like, place. That's the penis she would want, and then brought it home. <laughs> that was like, the weirdest part. Do that is, all uh, the time. Finally, the weirdest the- part is having to pick out size. Because then you're comparing in your head, and you want my ideal was like I want one just slightly smaller, smaller, just right? the slightest bit yeah. smaller than what I have. Because different you color, you don't want to get bigger. Yeah, yeah. Or yes, different color. Different also, color. I didn't want a skin color. I was like, yeah, that's, that's no. too you weird. You gotta go like pink or purple. Okay, so I went blue. blue. Okay, so oh, I went nice. blue. Okay, here's my question then. What would be the point of getting a small... Listen, I want to spice it up, so I'm going to get a smaller dick than mine. How does that spice it up? Well, at the time, we were a long distance thing. So I oh, was, that I was sense, sending... Though. Here... Here's an artificial mm. penis for you. So you don't fuck other people. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Send me like very self conscious. Take this. Uh, that's crazy. Because I don't think anybody, any female would be like, you know what? Here's this pocket pussy. Well, you know, actually, nowadays they would. Right? I, I don't really know. That. Long... It was also like negotiated beforehand. It's not like I was just like out of the blue. Like, she was like, this is in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, chocolate. Oh, oh, did you get that oh, package oh. yet? <laughs> no, I want that package. <laughs> When you received the package from FedEx, <laughs> should be there in two to three days. Yeah, yeah. So she picked it out. No, no, I picked it out. I know, but she had sent. It you- was talked about. It was like, "What do you like? What's what's what kind of machinery what are texture? we working with?" Yeah. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I want to keep talking about this. I'm going to hit the camera. Real quick. When you go, because AJ and I had talked about this, right? So yeah. do you, when you go in there, you have an idea of what you want, or do you ask them like, "What do you recommend?" 
Um, the internet's a great tool nowadays. You know, you <laughs> jump on there, you go through, you look at a bunch of different ones, and you're like, let's see. Uh, How many settings see, does uh, this one have? This no. was a. It had three settings. Three. Oh, so this three is a speeds. vibrator too. It's a vibrator. Yeah, you put okay. batteries in it. Yeah. It wasn't a crazy expensive one. I think it was like forty bucks, maybe. Oh, okay. Some of them were fucking insanely expensive, like hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. So was it more of a vibrator or a dildo? Because when I think of a dildo, tomato, tomato. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I think of a, a, a plastic dick. A dildo is just like yeah. dick with no settings. Yeah, this was yeah. this was a dick. Maybe a suction cup at the end. Those are so <laughs> weird. My friend had one of those. And you put it on some this glass. This did not have a suction cup at the end. <laughs> the fuck the She's glass. She's on her some nightstand. She. Mm. Yeah, you put on. <laughs> you, hopefully, you have tile floor, and you're like, okay, you know, bah, boom. But then the you need shower? something for your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Not in the shower. You'll slip in the shower. <laughs> you ever seen Pornhub bloopers? It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped and it went in my ass. <laughs> Ah. That's all I watch. That's how I get off. It's really <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little surprised. Where's this going? That's uh, nice. Yeah. But uh, you go in the store. No, I didn't ask anyone. I didn't really talk to a whole lot of people. I went through, tried a couple, take one or two out of the box. And you, <laughs> you <laughs> <find them. laughs> Examine it. Uh, you hit it against your face. <laughs> this is a good one. This is this thick. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the majority of it is looking at it going... What does my dick look like? What is, <laughs> you what have a picture of your like? dick. <laughs> I don't even remember my yeah. dick. Uh, and then you go into one of the rooms in the back and you veins. get someone to compare them. Mm-hmm. They're like, this is look pretty similar. I can't tell. <laughs> 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 oh, that's gross. And then... Uh, the best... You can just get like a Dr. Seuss one. What? That looks Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Yeah, they have... What, what's it called? It's, it's a certain material. It's like... Um, that, latex. Like, uh, Nylon-y no, not, no, material? Is it, there's a name for it. Fleshy? No. Is it flesh like? It's like a silicone. It's like you get glass ones, which I think is which crazy. Is wild. Yeah. It's kind of hot. Well, like, isn't like the old school, like, like medieval. It does, but they're like you know they're fucking they're unbreakable thick. glass. It's, it's not like a, iPhones. Isn't like the medieval <laughs> ones like wood? Have you ever seen those? Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, that seems dangerous. Mm-hmm. I don't spend a lot of time looking at medieval dildos, but <laughs> yeah. uh, it seems like you would I get didn't a have splinter. an art history degree, so I should uh, know a little bit about so it. I would think, but apparently they would smooth it so well. It was usually made out of oak. You know, or something like that is what I, I saw. See you put on a layer the history of, channel. Uh, what, what do you what do you lacquer? <laughs> <laughs> you put some lacquer, lacquer on it. That's actually my go-to lubricant, anyway. So yeah. <laughs> I'm all out of uh, petroleum. I got some lacquer yeah. here. Wouldn't it be? Uh, is, so, is a vegetable? Is that just like a thing that it's on movies? Like, no, I think people I... use vegetables. You can use a vegetable, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't because it's cheap. I mean, a cucumber is what eighty cents, sixty cents, eighty nine. All right. 89? Where are you buying your cucumbers? <laughs> Where you I got H-E-B. a cucumber for 30 cents the other day. They're no, organic? Uh, they're English cucumbers. Oh, they're English. that's a smaller cucumber, right? It's nicer. It's more crunchy. Yeah, you can pickle those ones. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> there's a texture... <laughs> There's a texture to them. Uh, there's different sizes you get to pick every single time. You know what I mean? So I don't see why you'd go... Yeah, it's fun. And then you can just keep it in your yeah, but like a cucumber, I feel like could break. You know what I mean? Like it's not durable. How hard yeah, are you going? Really <laughs> I'm just saying. Also, this <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> This one, yeah. If you bent the wrong way, you could break the cucumber inside. You, you. could break how, a lot. Of that's, yeah, the right. wrong way. <laughs> that's how people end up in the hospital. Yeah. But uh, once you use like a, a a condom on it or something like that, so if it did break, it was all still in one uh, area. Wait, what are you saying? Yeah, you put a Would condom. Would you put a... Yeah, you can put a condom, condom on, on like a, a cucumber. cucumber. Yeah. yeah. I think they suggest that actually. I think yeah. Instead of putting the... Uh, because what if, what if the there's rock. like uh, salmonella or some type of E. coli yeah. on the cucumber yeah. and then you do that. You don't want to get s- s- salmonella mean, up also the, uh, <laughs> up the push. Push. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it will mess up pH balance. I'm learning all about pH balance, by the way. Is that yeah. weird? pH balance. It is, but... No, so it's I'm, necessary. Yeah, yeah, I was about yeah. to say it's a weird thing. Yeah, they thing. saw the pH balance soap. Yeah, like vag- vaginal soap. I hear a lot of them are like bullshit, though. Like, they don't do like anything. Good. You're not to... Well, I hear like, nothing. I feel like as I, I, I've heard that, like, as long as you're like showering, yeah. like you're fine. Like you don't need any yeah. Yeah. products. As long as you're like, clean. <laughs> yeah. Like, as long, you, like they're like, if you're buying like Summer's Eve or like whatever, they're like, mm, maybe it's a waste. Wait, what, yeah, it smells nice. Eve? It What's smells nice. Eve? It's like pH balancing vagina uh, wash. Okay. Yeah. It's 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you got to like test it like a pool kit. You know, you put the little. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, ooh, it's it's okay. There we go. And my pussy is alkaline. <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit more chlorine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, it's surprising that a lot of people don't even know it's like acidic, which is like why a lot Vagina? of. Yeah, yeah, which is why well, a lot of like are. that's why I always burns, right? Well, <laughs> 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 well no, because like a lot of people were like, "Why are like my black underwear not black anymore?" And it's like it's a thing you can like just in the front. No, like where your just vagina in the is. Front, yeah. you know, <laughs> You've got two kids, Kavasa. <laughs> I'm just saying. You said they're not black anymore. I'm picturing. Okay, the whole underwear fading, yeah, or no. is just one specific <laughs> spot of lips that are just like, like if somebody's just blowing on a <laughs> out, just like this is the part, this this is the, that part, yeah, right there. That, that part, part right there, yeah, where the people. Why is it orange? Is <laughs> orange is the new black. Whoa, yeah, okay, <laughs> bleach these underwear. Guys don't yeah, have dick fun. wash, right? They, it's not like something y'all would do. Yeah, no. Specific. I feel like I use it in an oat soap. It's pretty fun. I use a dove. I've that never even sense. seen separate like shampoo and conditioner for guys. Like, I've it's never seen everything in one. I've never even seen a dick. What, are the, what, are the, what, are the, what color is it? Yeah, it's just uh, normal. Just get a, a, a rag and then uh, you uh, wash that first and then your face and then your feet. After. <laughs> <laughs> then you put it back. Do you, you use a rag or you, 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 you soap the rag and then you do a rag? Yeah. I just go bar soap and I go bar soap. All, I know. All I over. learned that. I learned that yeah. from the Chappelle show that white people do that. Yeah, is that no? okay? That was a show. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a yes, white I just guy use like a loofah. Yep. I use. I don't no, use no, I just use the soap. We have. You just use the soap. Really? Really? Use She's soap. not white. Yeah, really. I also. Well, how do you get it to lather? I, again, it's just I slippery. Hurt. No, like it's you. It's fun. It's a fun your game. Head. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, see, it's just slippery. But everybody. Oh, but but you're not sharing the soap with anybody. Correct. Okay. Okay. That makes. I'm alone. What do you want me to say? You don't fucking alone. That's all I wanted to admit, <laughs> how alone you are in this world. I am the only one using the bar soap. I got a travel size uh, shampoo. I'm not going to, I only go through a, a quarter of shampoo, a quarter. Wow. I'm not going to show a shampoo, a quarter. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not going to clean my ass <laughs> year. and then wash my baby with the same bar soap. <laughs> So we all have. Yeah, I would hope not. <laughs> so so y'all have each have y'all's own loofah? Or, no, no, no. We have like a basket. It's a big basket and there's rolled up little rags. Uh, and each time we take a shower, you get a brand new rag and then and we wash yourself. Each and time, then, well, how often do you guys use a towel before you wash it? Like, a, like a, the towel you use to clean off yourself? Two to three days. Two to three days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wash my towels once a week. Once a week? I'm about once a week. Yeah. And by once a week, I'm in like two weeks. <laughs> you use the same towel. I use the same towel. Yeah, I hang it up to dry. I just feel like you, yeah. you get off, you get out of the shower, you're clean now. Yeah, I'm not using the 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 towel when I'm dirty, so it's clean. Do you it's take like clean water on it. Time out. So up. you don't do this move. You don't you don't put your leg up, grab the towel, and dry in your ass crack. You don't do that move. No, right? I do not do that. Dude. <laughs> Y'all walk around with wet ass crack. <laughs> don't make me talk about that. Worry about that. Yeah. I will get that yeah. towel and fucking. Well, I don't have don't all that extra fat around my ass, so it dries pretty quickly. You know what I mean? I'm pretty proud usually of my fat. Usually, if you're ass. hairless, then it just dries. I usually a lot take better. a hair dryer and just hair dry my ass for like a good couple. Oh, of minutes. I'm the weird one, but you put a blow dry in. I like a warm asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you just put it on cool. You gotta, you gotta. Dry. I don't do that though. No. So what you're trying to say is you have no crevices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they need to dry. Yeah. No. I. I. Every two. But also, days. your asshole is also clean at that point. Yes, it is, of yeah. course. But then you also so you don't have a bunch of like shit around your asshole when you get out of the uh, the listen, shower. I guess I guess I am rich. I have an abundance of towels because I, yeah, I, I'm, it a, is. I, I'm you a can single afford dude to wash your who towels lives by often. myself. I have like two we towels wash towels in one plate. twice a week is what we do at our house. Y'all so, also have more people. Yeah, it's a bunch of us. I do laundry once a week. But then I, you know, but like, I don't always wash the, the towels. towels. Always end up on the floor to dry up puddles and. Well, you have kids and stuff. Yeah. I don't have a lot of puddles in my house. No. So that's when I vomit. Ugh. From alcoholism. Yeah. No, we just <laughs> vomit from... I was going from, to yeah, We just vomit from, uh, <laughs> from stomach viruses. From stomach viruses. <laughs> is what we vomit. And then we add... And then uh, you sit in. And then we have to wash every fucking thing and then bleach every fucking thing. That fuck, take all the toothbrushes, throw them away, fucking... You switch everything out. Oh, yeah. That sounds like it sucks. That's Can you intense. not just boil the toothbrushes? 
<laughs> They're a dollar. Fucking. <laughs> just, like, we're going to save these toothbrushes. It could be nice because we like those electric toothbrushes. Those are expensive. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we don't have no electric toothbrushes. I went to the dentist and every time I go, I went like last week and the, every time they're like, you got to get an electric toothbrush. Supposedly it's better because it, it vibrates so much quicker. You get a way better brush, brush going. Uh, Some of them my aunt's a dentist and she's never told me that well your aunt doesn't love you Obviously. she also thinks you're on TV so she's delusional no no that's my grandma <laughs> my aunt does not think I'm on TV at all uh, but she does give me a nice discount which I appreciate uh, my great uncle was a dentist and he did my teeth until we retired and that one was when I was in like 8th grade and then I didn't go to the dentist for like 10 years do you have any cavities? oh when I went back I recently started going to the dentist again about 2 years ago yeah because I got insurance to my work or whatever and yeah, I had, I think I had five cavities. Dental. I had five cavities wow. when I went in. How can you tell, was, like, do you have to have the dentist check? It's or is soft. There like, you can, if, you, if you have a really bad one, you can feel see it. it. You can also see it because it's black, It's like black around the tooth. Or you'll feel it when you're biting to something and it hurts. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, yeah, but that yeah. can also just be sensitive. But I, I, had, I, had a, I went to the dentist and I had to get a, I was grinding my teeth because of anxiety. And so now I have to wear oh, like sure. a, a mouthpiece mouth guard. at night because like my front teeth were chipping. And I oh, was just shit. like, why are they chipping? And she, my aunt was like, oh, I can see you're grinding your teeth. Apparently, I'm grinding the back of the enamel because I have an overbite. Yeah. So I'm like, grinding you gotta like stop that. doing Molly before you go to sleep. No, no I got it. It's, it's just, to well, no, it's because my subconscious <laughs> knows, like, my uh, during the day, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing my dreams. And then it, <laughs> at night, my body goes, what the you're fuck a piece of shit. Fucking do something. Yeah, come yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> like, move, do something. <laughs> So then I put that on and then he's, it's like a muzzle for my subconscious. And he's like, <laughs> at night, he's like, you can't even say anything. And I'm like, uh, in the morning. But, I don't think I would hate to sleep in a mouth guard. Oh, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. That's Especially when, when you, you have a sleep apnea. Yeah, you have sleep apnea too? Yeah. Well, you stop breathing in the middle of the night. Oh, do you have to wear one of the fucking no, Darth Vader? I don't, I can't no. afford that. You're so... I'm just you can, you're I'm going not, to I'm, eventually. You do one of those Once you go up to things. the 38 in pants, you're gonna have to get sleep after you, man. <laughs> Fucking shit. Yeah, where you just you never had that? Where you just wake up in the middle of the night and like <clears throat> Isn't that like a weight thing? No. Like that's part of the weight eventually. Thing. Partly right. and mainly a weight thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you sleep you, so you snore a lot. Horribly. Yeah. Does she I roll see. you to your side? Like, aren't you supposed to Does do she that? ever put a pillow over your face and try to kill you? <laughs> We don't sleep in the same room, so <laughs> why would you do any of that? Thanks, man. So that is your birth. You guys are on birth control. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We just don't touch each other anymore. No, we touch each other. We're sleeping in the same bed. We're having sex. So we just, the kids sleep with her over there, and then I sleep on the other side of the house because I'm up till like three o'clock in the morning editing. Oh, so this is ignorance. real. You guys actually don't sleep in the same bed. No. Why would we do that? I'm not sleeping in a bed with two other kids. With her and two your, kids. Your kids sleep in the bed every night? They sleep in their bed and then they wake up at one o'clock in the morning and come to our bed. Oh, uh, you got to nip Why don't you just lock the door? The don't let them in. Because then they'll just bang at the door. Just tell them That's going to last in. forever. Your yeah. kids are going to be in there until like 18. No, 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 no. They'll, they'll, that's going to turn into a Pornhub movie. It, yeah. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it, it eventually stops. They're little kids. The one's, one's uh, three. Mm-hmm. And the other one, oh, he's seven. Seven. Seven's yeah, good. Yeah, that's well, old. No, he, I probably still slept in my parents' bed when I was seven. He, he, not every night, he, though. He, no, it's not every night. He usually stays in his bed, but my daughter uh, will get up and go to our yeah. bed pretty much every night, and she sleeps uh, sideways. So where are you sleeping? In the back room. What's in the back room? We sleep on a futon? No, a king-size bed <laughs> by oh, myself. Oh, shit. It's fucking great. It's cold in that room. That room has its own little uh, window unit, like AC unit. So it's like, I put it super cold in there. It's like 70 degrees. The rest of the house is like 80 because it's an old AC unit. We can't <laughs> afford the AC. So we're just like, we'll just keep it on 80. That'll be, just turn on all the fans. It'll be fine. Oh, God. You don't Do you know. let your kids suffer as you sleep in the king-size bed? They are fine with it. They run. They, they are fine, they are with, fine with it. They don't sleep with, because they, they hate blankets. So they just sleep like it's normal. You know what I mean? And so that back room, they don't like, like if they fall asleep and it's cold, they wake up all stuffy and shit. And so, so what are you going to, you guys going to eventually, is the goal to eventually get back in the same bed or you're good or to go? Or is the goal to like bed the rest keep of your separating I can't. further? <laughs> eventually you know you're, how, out, you're in the house <laughs> okay. across the street. Do you know how great that is to sleep in a king size bed by yourself? It's nice sleeping with someone, you know? Honestly. <laughs> You've been with him, if you were with him for 12 years. You sleep in the same. We slept on a full size mattress together for the first, mm. you know, few years. Actually, no, we slept in a queen queen Tempur Pedic. 
that I purchased. Yeah. But still, <laughs> Flex. the one purchase he made. <laughs> Damn right. I was balling at the time. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we uh, we slept on that. But I just, yeah, I don't want, I, I want to sleep comfortably. You don't, you don't like to, to snuggle up? You don't like to uh, be no. held? <laughs> no, I'm not. Tr- I'm I'm not trying to have sex. I want to. That's uh, the only time you want to. The, the yes. What's the other your, word for snuggle? I'm get your for? fucking body cuddle? heat away cuddle, from me. There we go. Yeah. That's, a, that's your a better word than snuggle. Body heat away from me. I hate like. Uh, I got it. Yeah. You're fat. I got it. You yeah. Got a lot of body heat. I run hot. <laughs> And when there's another body next to me, that's too much body heat. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah. I'm sweating. I want I want to I don't want to wake up and the back of my shirt be wet. You know what I mean? I want to wake up and I'm you like You sleep with a shirt on? That means you're big. That means you're a little spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a little spoon. Yeah, cuz nice. I don't like because I like to sleep with man, I sleep with a pillow here and then a pillow around my arms and a pillow between my legs and a pillow under my, like all the way down. Because of my back. So if I'm spooning her, my legs are close like that together. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you got, you know, tuck your shit back because you don't, because then, never mind. You don't have to tuck your yes, shit you back. Yes, you do, no, because you then it's dick against I've ass. Done, I've done the spoon dick, move before. You don't have to do <laughs> no, anything you do, with your dick. You do, because then your dick's like, hey, what do you want to do? And then it's like, I got work in the morning. It's like, well, I don't got work in the morning. You know what I mean? And then. Yeah, but that goes away eventually. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It <laughs> never goes away. Well, then maybe you have sex and then it goes away. No, this is a whole nother problem. That's a whole other problem that, you, yeah, that, you, right. that you're going into. You know, you can always go over to you know, the bathroom and. No, that's Dude, not the did. same. No, that's not. That's of it. course, it's not the same. No one's saying it's the same. <laughs> it's just, that feels shameful. Like, go to the bathroom and get it done. That's what. Has that happened? What? Has your, has your wife sent you away? To, you're too horny, and she's like, "Go, go solve that problem." No. What I, happens? I get my way. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna happen. All right. <laughs> <laughs>